In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today's Mass is offered for Sandra Roberson, and today we celebrate the feast day of St. Maria Goretti, uh, someone who uh, died as a martyr just over 100 years ago in Italy. Uh, she was still at the time a young girl, but she is a martyr for the virtue of chastity. Uh, so rather than uh, giving up her virginity or violating chastity, when she was assaulted by um, uh, someone, uh, by another uh, boy in, the, in, the, uh, in that same area, uh, she uh, preferred death rather than sacrificing her values. Um, so in that sense, we honor her as a great martyr and, and as someone who can be a great intercessor, a great example and a model, especially for young people of our own time. Let us begin by calling to mind our sins to prepare ourselves to enter more worthily into these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin St. Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth, when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my veil. I will espouse you to her I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our response, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is and merciful. They discourse on the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel of his cloak. 
She said to herself, if I can only touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. From that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away, the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came, took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout that land. The Gospel of the Lord. thoughts uh, from the first reading and from the gospel today. So two lines from these uh, lines that we can apply in our daily uh, routine of prayer. Um, from the first reading, the prophet Hosea is reminding the people, is calling the people to come back to their first love, to come back to their love of the Lord. And it's said in this way, it says, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. And there, being led out into the desert, then Israel shall say, my husband, and never again my Baal. So there's something about going out into the desert that in fact brings clarity and in fact rids distraction. So Israel had at one time loved the Lord very much, had been led through the desert from the exodus in Egypt, but then coming into the promised land, they had grown wealthy, they had forgotten the Lord, they had turned to false gods. But by coming out into the desert again, what happens in the desert? So often we use that as a description to indicate that all distractions are taken away. It's a time to be stripped of all of the of all the excesses in life. And when we go into that barren location, then we find the Lord and without distraction can love the Lord anew. So that whole notion of being led out into the desert, so that way the Lord can speak more directly to our heart. It's a wonderful sentiment, what a wonderful thought. And then a, and then a second line, one from the gospel, the, uh, the woman with the hemorrhage, what was she thinking? She was sick, she came to Jesus, she thought that she could be cured, and then, so she said to this, she says, if only I can touch his cloak, if only I could touch the tassel, then I know I shall be cured. And did Jesus let that happen? Did he let her touch the tassel in, a, in an anonymous sort of way, so that way she could just take the garment, and, oh, no, and I'm good, and now she goes on her way? No, Jesus turns around and then speaks to her, because it's not the tassel, that is magical, that somehow cures her from her hemorrhage. Instead, it is a person, it is Jesus. And Jesus has an encounter with her to remind, to, uh, to encourage her faith, uh, to address her as daughter so that way she might be saved. So two brief thoughts. One is being led out into the desert so that way we can rediscover our love of the Lord. And the second thought is that it is not an object or a tassel that is somehow magical, but it is our encounter with our Lord Jesus. Um, I said both of these are things we can apply in our daily spiritual life, so how could we do that? Uh, let me give just two concrete examples. That when we talk about being led out into the desert, sometimes we need to be um, purified of all of our attachments to different things. And we can wait for the Lord to inflict upon us the cross or to, to give us a, a moment in the desert. But we ourselves can choose to go into the desert each day in our prayer. We can spiritually go into the desert in our spiritual lives um, by focusing on the Lord, by putting all of the distractions aside. And in this way, we can voluntarily accept what was uh, thrust upon uh, Israel, uh, according to the prophet Hosea. Uh, we can voluntarily go there in order to then to come to discover the Lord. And we can do that each day to rediscover our center, to rediscover our heart, um, to remind us of what is most important in our life. And then the second thought we can take with us each day, the idea of touching Jesus's cloak or his tassels. He says, well, we have lots of things that we consider important, whether scapulars or rosaries or things like that. But remember, just as Jesus taught the woman, that it is not any one object. It's not, this is not a magical object. This is, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sprinkle this over you and my rosary, and this is, this is what's going to um, then lift us up somehow from, from where we are. But in fact, these objects represent a signs of our faith in a person, in the person of Jesus Christ. So we carry about our medals, or religious objects, or scapulars, or rosaries, or things like that, as a reflection of what we believe. And what we believe is we believe in our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
So just a good reminder that we have our wonderful religious objects that remind us of our faith in Jesus, that we have our time of prayer in which we can enter into that time of purification in the desert by focusing on our Lord alone. Uh, these two thoughts are things that we can just hold with us in our daily spiritual life, and may the Lord use all of these things in order to teach us, to lift us up, and to bring us to deeper faith. Let us stand as we present our prayers and petitions. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church and the holy people of God that we might be strengthened in our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for young people that they might strive always after the virtue of purity uh, through the intercession of St. Maria Goretti. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our devotion to the Blessed Mother, uh, the, our recitation of the rosary and the other devotionals that the, that the church has enriched us with might all be instruments by which we can grow in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for their healing and for the end of the spread of disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, remembering the deceased members of the Roberson family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for the protection of our religious liberties and the freedom of the church. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Almighty and merciful God, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers that we make in faith, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of St. Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Maria Coretti, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and Daniel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on St. Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.